There's nothing mentally ill or sick about saying, I have this issue, you know, about a guy saying, hey, you know, I really don't feel like a man. I really feel uncomfortable. He's going to try and solve that any way he can. I think we should be very careful not to impose this stuff on children who have not defined themselves yet. We shouldn't impose anything. Uh, we shouldn't impose it's just because a child, a young boy walks in with a doll. That doesn't mean you uh, zip him off to a doctor and pump him full of chem chemicals. That is child abuse, you know, but we don't have to hate on people. If a guy is a little bit uh, effeminate, you know, it may make us uncomfortable. We don't have to hate on people. All this stuff is obvious. I'm sure we all agree. Nothing mentally ill about it. There is something nuts about a guy coming and saying that he's a woman. Even after he's had an operation, he's still not a woman. Every cell in his body is a man's cell. He is whatever he is. And because he knows that that's not true, because he knows that he is telling a lie, because he knows it's not right for him, for instance, to, to compete in a sporting event against girls who have worked hard to become excellent at their sport, but can be overcome in an instant by somebody who's really a man dressed up as a woman or having turned his, uh, his body into a woman costume, you know, obviously that's nuts. So when you have people on TV who, talk, who say what's nuts, you have to define anybody who uh, disagrees with them as hateful. You have to silence those people because the truth wipes lies away. That's why. That is why. We can't, if we sit around and say the emperor is wearing clothes when he's stark naked, it only takes one person to say, guess what? The emperor is naked. And by the way, he's a guy. He's not a girl, even though he thinks he's the empress. It doesn't matter, right? So you have to silence those. So what do you got? You got lies on both sides. You have only the people who are saying, you only can allow the people who are saying, I'm a woman because I feel like a woman. And then on the right, you can only allow the people who are angry enough and mean enough to say, yeah, you're lying. You're a liar, right? Because the person who says what I just said is going to be silenced. That's the person who goes on Twitter and says, look, you know, I feel for you, but a man is not a woman silenced. He's gone. All you've got now is hate on the left and is nonsense on the left and nonsense on the right. This works for the left. The left likes this because it makes right wingers look intolerant when in fact they're not. Anybody who's ever hung out with right wingers know that they say all kinds of nonsense about their theories about this and their theories about that, but they welcome people in all the time because they take each person as an individual. Individualism is at the heart of conservatism. So they're not intolerant, but you can make them look intolerant by saying something stupid, censoring them, and then leaving only the hateful people left to speak. It also works for the media because outrage gets clicks and ratings. But it makes all of us, it makes all of us stupid. And it makes our debate stupid. And it makes our debate angry. 